pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook, Lesson 92, Insights. Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. It seems right now that the darkness of the ego thought system is being acted out on a grand scale. We are seeing that attack begets attack begets attack. Graphic images of death and destruction make it seem very real. It seems to confirm that the ego thought system is firmly established never to be undone. This, of course, is the goal of the ego. Like a puffer fish that swells up to look larger and more menacing, the ego makes fearsome images to make itself look real. Yet this show of strength is just an attempt to hide the underlying sense of weakness. Remembering that light and strength are one, and another lesson which says, God is the light in which I see, we remember that our strength comes from our complete dependence on God, our source. The ego is the idea of independence, being different, unique, special, Yet to establish this independence, the ego must cut itself off from the source of strength. Now perceiving itself as weak, it must find ways to hide its weakness. Attack is its chief mechanism for hiding its sense of weakness. Attack always comes out of weakness. Strength sees no need for attack, for it knows itself as invulnerable. Judgment can only come out of a sense of weakness. The ego, perceiving itself as weak, projects that weakness onto an outside world and judges that weakness in an attempt to make itself look strong. Thus, anytime I judge... I am doing the same thing as sending an army into battle or making weapons of mass destruction. It is all the same error. I cannot personally go to Iraq or any other place of military conflict and stop the battle. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, I can rise above the battleground in my mind Let go of my insistence on specialness and let the Holy Spirit shine his light that I may might see the strength I share with God. Here I find peace. Here I find safety. Here I find innocence and there is no need to judge. Here in this place of light, I remember my source and my strength. From this place, I offer the peace of God to all. I see the innocence everywhere, and I remember only love is real. This is how I bring peace to conflict and shine the conflict away. What happens between bodies has no effect on the Son of God. As I remember my unity with my source and my strength, I help all God's sons remember too. This is how I can help. I call upon the strength of God in me today to help me bring this light and strength with me in every moment that I may always bless with my thoughts and deeds. Today, my job is to let myself be brought onto myself. I do this by being willing to open my mind to the light, to the strength of my true self. This light and strength is always there, waiting to give all of itself to itself. In the light, all of the little self personalities disappear. All of the false masks of differences in individuality disappear. All the false stories disappear. All sense of conflict disappears. All sense of weakness and vulnerability disappears. What remains is the peace of God, the love of God, and the joy of God. 
God's strength is constant because it is changeless. It is always there eternally. If I want to think that I am separate from it, I can experience that illusion. But the truth is, I am still one with the light and the strength of God. This can never change. I can believe in stories or I can believe in the truth. It is always my choice. I let the stories go as I let myself be brought unto myself. This is my answer to every sense of weakness, every problem I may perceive. This is the only answer that works. This is where my strength lies. Opening up my mind to the quiet, eternal love of God is where my happiness lies. It is all I want. It is all I need. I am slowly but surely finding true strength in myself by committing to these lessons and the course. I can't begin to understand what the lesson means when it says my body's brain cannot think. But the mere fact that I am willing to believe there is something other than this gives me much hope. I have perceived much darkness in my life. But the tiny specks of light I have experienced give me enough strength and willingness to carry me. I would guess that is the strength of God in me this lesson refers to because it is the only logical explanation I have. Although I probably can't begin to even fathom what my Heavenly Father's strength can do for me, these lessons help me stay focused on thoughts that steer me toward my goal. Holy Spirit, please place my gratitude for these lessons at my Father's altar for me. And thank you for your constant guidance. Amen. Pathwaysoflight.org